Okay, to begin, let me tell you I am a beginner with Photoshop and I have been watching TJ Styles videos and what I'm going to try to do is condense his videos uh, to help me learn what I'm doing better and so what I'm going to do is touch every point that he touches in all my videos I'm just going to try to do it quicker with less words if possible uh, I do recommend that you watch his videos he has close to 200 videos out and they are superb okay getting started the Photoshop settings in Windows uh, you will go to edit preferences general I'm using a Mac so I'm going to Photoshop preferences general okay the first thing we want to do is uh, check this box here zoom with scroll wheel that will allow us to zoom uh, on the pictures with our scroll wheel I really like that uh, let's see the next thing we want to do is go to interface we have our color themes here I like the dark one uh, it helps the picture to stand out better what you're working with and puts the Photoshop into the background nicely uh, I, I recommend that as well. UI font settings. I have a fairly large uh, monitor, so I've got mine set to large. If you have a smaller monitor, you might want to set yours to small or medium. And you will have to restart Photoshop uh, for any changes to take, a, take effect with your fonts. Okay, next thing. Uh, we've, we're going to file handling uh, where is that file handling right here file handling okay automatically save recovery information TJ recommends we put that up to five since I'm a newbie I'm going to do that as well uh, that way I don't lose five minutes worth of work that I don't have to lose if my Photoshop crashes uh, maximize PSD and PSB file compatibility uh, I'm going to set mine to never and what that does is makes uh, your file compatible with with older versions of Photoshop so if you're sharing or if you have another computer and you have an older version of Photoshop you'll want to change that uh, if you if you don't need the compatibility you will save 20 to 40 percent on your file size okay performance uh, I have plenty of memory in mine I'm, I'm even going to upgrade my memory but I'm setting mine up to 90 uh, if you have four gigs or less you might want to go to around 60 percent between 60 and 70 percent okay uh, I've got mine set to 90 this will help uh, Photoshop perform better uh, if you don't have a graphics card this area right here will be grayed out uh, you'll definitely want to upgrade and put a, a good graphics card in your computer I have one in mind but I do need to upgrade uh, let's see and then our plugins uh, you want to show all filter gallery groups and names that will just make more plugins available to you uh, if we go to filter all these plugins here uh, you see we have a lot of variety okay I tried to make it short and sweet and uh, I've cut his video down from 11 minutes to four minutes I'm gonna put a link in the bottom of uh, in the description of this video if you wanna watch his video as well I highly recommend that you do that uh, this is a good video for refreshing your memory uh, and that's basically what I'm making it uh, for myself so I can watch it without having to watch an 11 minute video I'm just touching on everything that he covers but doing it quickly without much talk. My next video will have even less talk. Thank the Lord. Amen. Here we go.